The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make an announcement here. There's a danger out there more dangerous than ISIS. It's the Department of Transportation. Can you believe that they are going to think about allowing people to use their telephones on an airplane? Think of that for a minute. On a 400 Dreamliner seats 440 passengers. I mean, uh, are you kidding me? And even on smaller planes, 40 or 50 passengers? It's a disaster. Come on, give me a break. But then, but then I put on my Jed Clampett, how do you cipher problems? And I said, I done figured it out. All you have to do is to make the price of the call about 10 bucks maybe 15, and that'll put a, 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 put a, put a screeching halt to it for sure. So, but this is, I mean, I can't believe that. I mean, I, you know, I tra Sarah and I travel a lot and that, that, that's not a good thing, boys and girls. It really isn't. So uh, let's just uh, keep that in mind. Maybe uh, our uh, president elect will put another general in there in, in, in charge of that to make somebody think about this before they do it. I mean, that's just not very good. Even texting, is no good. I mean, that's that's not a that's not a good deal either, folks. Uh, that that's my two cents worth. Uh, first of all, the, the, we start out the show like we always do. This is the uh, German DAX, as you can see. Uh, we've made higher high two days in a row. If you look at this on an hourly basis, you're going to see a little three drive pattern, very small one. But um, there's some resistance up here at this 1.27 at uh, 12,000. We're 11,998 right now, so that's not very far away. So we'll see uh, how things are, are going to be, uh, you know, looking right now, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it from, uh, from that perspective. But uh, we need to look at the currencies, folks, because that's where uh, a lot of the action is occurring this morning. We had a big break in gold because of the uh, movement in the euro. I just wanted to bring the euro because we were looking at this um, yesterday, uh, right after the report. We'll take a quick look at it and see what it did. As you can see here, uh, the market went up and made a uh, three drive pattern. You'll notice the each drive is 1.618 of the previous swing. Uh, and then what we did, as you can see last night, we came down and we made that little um, pattern, uh, also we known as the uh, expanding a triangle broadening p pattern, and that also got the euro down to that 105.50 level, which means it has to hold that level. Uh, if we don't, then we're looking at new lows, and below that low, oh boy, you're looking at something really, really serious. And with these markets the way they are, you know, that market to move uh, 300 points in the euro is nothing. You can see between the fourth and the and the seventh, it moved uh, 375 points in just a matter of four days. So. The, the volatility that we're seeing here is just, uh, you know, truly phenomenal. And we're also seeing it in some of the other things. If you'll take a look here, you'll look at the uh, Japanese yen. You'll see that the Japanese yen versus the dollar has just been going crazy since we made the bottom, you know, way back here on election night. You'll notice that it went right down to exact 786. And if you look at this really closely, you'll notice that each of the lows from 1, 3, 5, and then also the one that we made on the uh, election night, these were exactly on a, on a straight line. In other words, they bounced off that trend line and then, you know, away that it went. And, you know, now we're above the 61% retracement once we get up the, over the 115 to the dollar. And, uh, you know, this thing topped at 123 to 126, I believe. So, you know, we could easily, if we get above that, you remember the dollar yen used to trade at 360 going back to 1989 when the Nikkei was trading at uh, 39,800 and change. Uh, that was on Christmas Eve of 1989. So uh, this has a long way to go, uh, but we'll take a keep. We'll keep watching it very, very closely. Remember, this was the trade 
of the century that uh, we had our good esteemed leader Tom O'Brien and talk about King Dollar and it was was flat out But in the 2001, where three five pattern of the each one of them really a, a three drive pattern. This is a possibility of support. Is all that is. There's really nothing more than uh, than what we're what we're seeing right here. I understand we're having a slight problem with the. Um, hmm. Can anybody hear me out there? Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Okay, maybe it's working now. We'll see if we can get this fixed here uh, when we come up to the break, and we'll uh, we'll be able to see uh, if it's working or not. So uh, I, I have to. Uh, okay, they want me to do this at the. Um, they want me to call in on the other line. I'm going to do this at the break. Uh, well, let me just do it right now. I can do that right now. Hold on, just. To, oh dear. Just a minute, folks. I got to put the other phone off the hook. Call in at the break and make it a little bit See if we can get this fixed. I don't know what is, but we will try to get it done. Getting back to this euro the downside. Now, many of these markets are to the U.S. Thirteen or fourteen dollars last night. Down there at the uh, possibility of a pretty good bottom in here. Platinum TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS as proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. 
Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Evidently, we're having a um, connection problem with California. Not surprising. But anyway, we will try to get him back on the air uh, if we can. Um, the uh, main thing that I would like to do now is to take a look at the um, <laughs> that, that broadsword stuff. I don't know if you guys know this or not. It comes from the movie by um, Brent. Are you there? I don't hear anybody on the line, so I assume that they're, they've already hung up, so we'll have to wait and see what's going on here. Let's take a quick look here uh, at the um, natural gas that we had a question on from Mr. Duffy. As you can see here, uh, we've had a pretty big move here uh, in the thing, and we'll see if this thing is going to uh, move up a little bit higher. Uh, Brent, are you on the line? I don't hear anybody. I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing coming through at all, so I don't know what the problem is. And I paid my phone bill two days ago, so I should be up to date. Anyway, let's get back to the natural gas. We don't need to. If Brent, if you're on the line, call back in again. See if you can get back in because it's not coming through to me. I don't know what the problem is, but we'll do one thing at a time. But as you can see here on this natural gas contract, we made a beautiful three drive to a bottom down there. We had to move up, then the pull back, and look at this big gap coming out of that point C. That tells you that the market's going to run like heck, and that's uh, pretty much what we've done now. As far as looking here at this, we can see that the natural gas has a 1.618 expansion up here, about another 15 cents. So watch it very closely up there at that uh, 388 level. So that's what I would suggest on natural gas. As you can see, it's been bullish all along. Uh, the corrections have been nearly perfect. So that's really what we'll be watching. Okay, let's see if we have Brent on the line right now. Well, we lost him. Well, we're going to keep trying. Maybe he'll call back again. He's a really nice fellow that we know from California, so hopefully he will call back again. All right, now the next question that somebody has asked us to talk about is the, uh, the chart of uh, Facebook. And what we wanted to do is we'll bring up the Facebook chart just to review some of these patterns that we're seeing right now. And as you can see here, as we look at Facebook, uh, back in August uh, through September, it was making a three drive pattern. We had a really nice ABCD structure. If you'll notice, the drive one was 1.618. Drive two was 1.27, and then you had to move down, and it stopped exactly to the tick uh, off of the Brexit low back on June 27th. It stopped exactly at the 78% retracement, then rallied up and came down one more time. This is a weaker-than-market stock, folks. I would not be surprised that if the market ever does sell off, which I'm expecting a minor correction 
in 2018, probably between September the 15th and September the 19th of 2018. But this market is a weaker than market stock, so pay a particular attention to it if you're on the long side, because should we go below the 113 level, the next level would be at par, down around 100. So be very careful uh, in the Facebook. When, when stocks are weaker than the market, you have to really uh, – Brent, are you on the line? I might I, be having. Can you hear me, Larry? Yes, it's uh, it's breaking up, but I can hear you, Brent. What can I do for you, my friend? My question was about uh, crude oil. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can. It's breaking up, but I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to know if it's been pretty strong. If it were to get above, there's a couple times it's been up around 52. If we're to get above that, what would what, what do you think it would go to? Well, I think it's going to go to 64 if it gets above the 52 level. The reason why I say that is if we look at the uh, structure on the crude oil, you'll notice that it's taken uh, about three and a half weeks to only make a 38% retracement off the last major low. That came in at the 49.75 uh, level yesterday. That was the exact 38% level. And when you only see 38% uh, you know, uh, uh, numbers, in a bull market or a bear market, they're extremely important. And the fact that it came out of there very, very strong to be up, you know, two dollars a barrel in just a matter of about eight hours tells you that this thing really looks like it wants to get above, you know, the 52. And above 52 sets up the target that Bill Meridian was talking about uh, on uh, Tuesday, where we had the, um, uh, you know, 64 dollar price level that he showed on his charts, uh, and also had seasonality. So. If we get above that 52, we could easily, you know, head towards that 60. But it's never easy. <laughs> but that, that's what it looks like. Uh, that was such an important number there. And I believe Steve Rhodes was uh, pointing that out uh, on his show uh, the other day, too, because that 382 is very powerful because if the market's really bearish, it'll break down really quickly, and, and we didn't do that in crude oil. Okay. That sounds great. That's kind of what I was seemed to be that it could get through that level, it would, it would want to make a decent run. So um, just have yourself a great weekend. It was a pleasure talking with you, and you take care of it, right? Thanks for calling in, Brent, and happy holidays to you, too, and your family. All right, same to you. Take care, Larry. Okay. Well, that leads us to our next uh, thing, and this is the uh, one I want to see now is if you'll notice here, uh, on Amazon, we're seeing that same type of 382 re retracement that you can see here. That's exactly what's happened with the crude oil. Only well, crude oil has already gone back and uh, attempted the old high already. They did that in a matter of a few hours. So this is telling us that that's what we're watching, you know, very, very closely. If you'll notice on this chart, I mark these little uh, ratios with these little red boxes. And the reason I do that is to show the importance of them. Uh, you know, it not only shows the support and resistance, but it shows how other swings sort of line up together, you know, with it. But this one would, would look just like a crude oil chart if you were, uh, you know, overlaid them one over the other, forgetting time and price. You would see that the pattern is very, very closely. In other words, looking at a 38% retracement off the high off the last major low. And that's what we're watching when we're, when we're looking at some of these things here. So we're, oh, you should have seen the Amazon shuck the front door and raise the rent. Let's get this up here, put it up. Hold on one second. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I think that should do it now. In other words, you can see the 382 retracement now. We hit that exactly spot on in the um, Amazon, and then, of course, we rallied up to a 618, came down to a 618, and then rallied. And the reason why I mentioned is I keep these in little red boxes just to show the importance, you know, of the ratios because that's what we're looking at here is when we're watching these is uh, to watch, you know, the, uh, the ratios and patterns as they come together. Now, we also have a very similar situation getting ready to occur, but at a little bit different ratio. And this is one that we've been following very closely, and this is the Canadian versus the U.S. dollar. Now, this is, remember, this is the opposite of the uh, crude oil because the, the correlation on this is the opposite. In other words, as the Canadian comes down, the uh, crude oil goes up, and as you can see here, we're coming into some really strong support here at this 131.40 level. However, that's going to be equivalent to what we're looking at in the crude at the 52.50 uh, and change level. So that's why it's going to be super critical 
because this has a very high correlation. And believe me, there's a lot more uh, trading that goes on the Canadian. Well, no, that's not probably right because crude oil is such a huge. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to rethink that one. I thought that the forex might be. Eh, it should be bigger because it's a whole country, but. And yeah, it should be because that's included in the uh, the crude oil itself. But this is a very high correlation between the crude oil uh, and the Canadian. So watch this one here at the 131.50 level. That's a 78% retracement of the low in October. It's a 38% retracement from the low in June. And it's a 50% retracement from the low in August. So we have five numbers uh, coming in there on that uh, particular move. And also it's a a 1.27 expansion of the move from November the 7th election night, you know, to where we are uh, right now. So watch this one uh, also very, very closely. It's very, 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 very short. Um, it has just a lot of ratios. So 131.40 uh, in that Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar cross rate. It looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good to see what we're going to be looking at. So 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and um, I've just posted the chart of... Um, of uh, Google, and as you can see here, it uh, when it made its top, it had some you know really neat patterns up in here, and in the bottom, you know, was exact uh, retracement number, and then it also pulled back to an exact 78% retracement. 
Um, yesterday afternoon, my good friend, Dr. Steve Shapiro, uh, who lived in California, uh, we lived there at the same time. He was a professor at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. He used to come over and uh, trade at the office with me uh, every day. And he reminded me of a, a farmer that we had. I had Astro Cycles. Uh, this was my newsletter, and I had a hotline. Larry Williams got me interested in doing a hotline, which was a <laughs> it was a it was a total nightmare because you had to you know be on that hotline twice a day telling people what to do, and uh, it, it was a recorded thing and it was really difficult. But one of the things Steve reminded me of was a farmer. Uh, back in Grand, uh, what was it, someplace Grand something in uh, in Iowa. I don't remember the exact city, but his name was Gene Siementhal. I'll never forget his name. And anyway, he called me up and he said, you know, what we have to do here is I have to make a million dollars here uh, in the next three and a half months or I might lose my farm. And uh, I said, Gene, I said, how much do you have to start with? He said, I've got 25000 <laughs> And I said, come on, give me a break. I said, you can't make a million dollars in that amount of money. And he said, look, he said, i got $25,000 to risk, and that's, uh, that's all I've got to risk. And this was in 1988, and we were making a bottom in soybeans. And so uh, Steve and I worked out a little, problem, uh, a little program with him with our help of um, uh, Byron Tucker, who was uh, on, still on the floor of the Merck at that time, still working with Leo and um, Muhammad. And anyway, um, Byron said that there was a trader uh, in Chicago that he knew that made a million dollars over that time. And what he did was he bought beans, and every time beans went up 20 cents, he would buy another contract. And, uh, and he said that the thing will work if it goes straight up. He said if it doesn't go straight up, it's probably not going to work. So I explained to Gene, you know, what it was. I said, you know, you got 25 grand, you start out with 10 call options, and every time beans move, move up 20 cents, you buy two more. And just two, not 10, just two. And so uh, I told him what to do, and sure enough, beans started, and they took off, and they moved a dollar really, really quick. And uh, I called him up, and he said, yep, he said, I'm still doing good. I didn't ask him how much he was making or anything. Anyway, beans, beans rallied three and a half dollars from that low, and uh, he made uh, all of his money back that he needed to, to pay for his farm. He sent me a case of Don Periome. He sent Steve Shapiro. I, I forget what he sent Steve, but it was a color TV or something like that. And, uh, but anyway, it, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was one of those big screen TVs before big screens were, were popular. But anyway, he passed away many years ago, but uh, that was a – uh, uh, really interesting because, see, those don't happen very often. What we're seeing now uh, in stocks when you see this explosive move, they are <laughs> – all right, Terry, I understand. No, I had nothing to do with Hillary Clinton's cattle trading operation. <laughs> but anyway, that, that, that was uh, – yeah, I'm sure you guys realize that that was totally a baloney thing. But anyway uh, – and, Danny, if I told you what that trade was, I'd have to kill you, and I don't want to do that. You're too nice a guy. But anyway, we'll be able Yeah, that's correct. For every ten stories like that, you hear nine that are just absolutely, absolutely different. So uh, keep in mind that uh, things like this happen. But this is an outlier event, folks. When you have the Dow up on 20 out of 23 sessions, uh, that is certainly an outlier event. That's approaching the, you know, the 22 out of 22 that we've seen in sugar and silver. So uh, somewhere up in here, I don't know where it's going to be, but there's going to be a shakeout. And believe me, it's not going to be a little one, because unless you're looking at Isaac Newton's uh, second law of motion for what goes up much come down, then you got to be really careful, because unless that's repealed, that will certainly, uh, you know, come to pass eventually, you know, down the road. So we'll see, uh, see what's happening uh, with this as we move through here. Okay, now let's... Uh, um, the uh, but you know this is some you know you're t you know, we're in the room here out so the folks here are listening they can't see the chat room here at the Tiger Den they're talking about you know how most people lose the, the most people that start out will lose but the people that stick with it over a period of years will turn it around and they'll stop making the same mistakes and they'll begin to make money but it, but people that trade just one or one or two and sometimes three years are not going to make very much because they don't understand 
you know, what's really happening, you know, with the, uh, with the markets and how you develop your own game plan or trading system, whether it's the one that you like with uh, Basil or Steve Rhodes or David White or myself or Tom O'Brien. As long as you find something that works for you and you believe in it, it's going to work. Because the most important cycle that you have, and that's what we always like with time, is that nine-inch cycle from ear to ear. Once you get that one formed, you know, then you have something to work on. And by the way, the other important news announcement, I noticed that the uh, president of um, uh, South Korea has been impeached for using uh, her uh, power to uh, gain extra money. Now, thank God that could never happen in the United States. Holy cow. What would you ever do if a politician ever sold for favors? That's hard to believe that could ever happen here. Anyway, we'll see how the rest of this stuff works out with the markets. But right now, we started out strong, just like we usually do. Whether we sell off or not, we'll have to wait and see. We made a little bit higher high in some of these. The key to this, folks, is in the U.S. dollar. Uh, basically, if we can keep this euro above the 105.50 level, then we've got a chance for a little bit of a rally. But if we go below 105.50, this is going to be a very, very negative uh, event, in my, in my opinion. And you can see how nervous the markets are. You see gold, you know, goes from 1175 down to 1162 in just a matter of a few minutes and rallies back $10 and then gives seven of that back in a matter of a few minutes. These are very nervous markets, and you're going to see more and more of it. The most interesting one that I've seen, uh, and we'll see what, uh, hold on one second here. I want to get this out here to show you. This is really an unusual um, an unusual chart that you're going to see right here. Now realize that we've had we had days of 302. Oh shucks, just a minute. Uh, there we go. Give me a second here. All righty. Let's take a look here at the uh, the VIX index over the last couple of days. I mean we've had the Dow Jones move 600 points in a matter of uh, three or four days, and the VIX index has gone up. Now, boys and girls, that, this is not where the, the young at heart or the neophyte trader trades. They don't even understand it. Well, I don't understand the VIX, but um, Basil sure does. But for the, for the VIX to be up when the market is uh, up that much, that is really, uh, that's very, very unusual because it has a correlation in the neighborhood of 95%. In other words, when the VIX is down, stocks are up. What do we have now? We had the VIX up and stocks up at the same time something's not right. So somebody's taking protection here in the VIX. Whether it's a large protection or not, I don't know, but it's something uh, that you might want to keep in mind because markets don't usually go straight up forever. Isaac Newton has told us that, but someday, uh, well, like, like Newton said, someday all of Isaac Newton's laws will be repealed, but uh, none of them have been repealed uh, as of yet. All they've been changed a little bit because of the work of Einstein, but... Uh, it's basically uh, what it's looking at. I don't know if you folks ever listen to the uh, educational channel uh, on TV and stuff, but the difference between, between what Isaac Newton said about gravity and what uh, Einstein said was it was push or pull. That's that when I get back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber 
as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, the next chart is the crude oil chart. As you'll see, this is the 30-minute uh, chart going over the few days. This is where I was trying to point out that 382 retracement that we were talking about earlier when we had Brent from California on the line. Uh, but if we go to a little bit longer uh, time frame here, you're going to see the price objective of $64 uh, a barrel. Uh, and you remember now, we've been at this uh, 5250 level now uh, three times, and uh, each time we backed off, now we're testing it again. And remember, this same thing happened with the DAX before it finally broke out. So uh, if we do break out here and close above that 53 level, that's going to set up that $64 barrel level that we were talking about with Bill Meridian on Tuesday. And, of course, Bill, one of his specialties is oil because he worked for the Saudis for 12 years uh, in, um, he was actually in Dubai, but um, this is what uh, we'd be looking at here on a longer-term basis uh, on this. If you'll notice uh, on this crude oil chart, again, you're seeing the 382 level from the February low to the November low was exactly, you know, 38% retracement. It was also almost spot on to a 78% retracement uh, at that level. We were buying down at that level and had a really nice move in that to start out with, and then it, uh, you know, backed off a little bit. Since that time, we've been standing aside, waiting to see if we're going to break out of this, uh, and this to the upside. It has a very good chance of doing it because of the fact that this last few days, that 382 retracement was very, very important because it should have come down a lot more. The other time that you'd had a, a major spot like that, it had backed off quite a bit, and we didn't do it, uh, you know, very much at all. Let's take a quick look here. Um, oh, by the way, someone's mentioning Norm Winsky. Uh, Norm sent me an email uh, uh, early this morning. He's up with the chickens. I think he wakes up at 3 o'clock there uh, in Florida. And he is in a sell zone in stocks. And um, uh, I bring that to your attention so that if it doesn't work, I'll give you Norm's uh, private number now. It's uh, area code 987-555. 5555. So call him if there's any complaints, but he's in a sell zone uh, in stocks. He had a big Astro date coming in uh, on the 8th and 9th, so we'll take a look at that and see uh, how that works. Let's switch over uh, to the gold market here, folks, because uh, the gold is really trying, but it's, uh, it's, not doing as good. it's not doing a very good job of holding. This was a chart we had last week. Uh, we had held the 61% uh, retracement there. At that 1170 level, we rallied up to, we got as high as 1190 early in the week, and then we backed off. Uh, fortunately, we were long that, got out of it not too far from the high, which was good. But now what it looks like is if we break much more 
and we get below that 1160 um, level, uh, we're going to be looking at um, a market that's going to probably come down to at least the 786 to around $1,106, another 70, 60 to $70 lower uh, in the gold. I don't think it's going to do that, and the reason why I say that is the fact that you're looking at a market in silver and platinum that look extremely bullish. I mean, they, even though they made ABCD patterns on the upside, they look very bullish on the corrections. They're just not, they're not backing off very much, which is a, you know, very, very positive sign. So we must keep an eye on that just for the fact that uh, we'll see what's going. Now, whether that, Terry's asking a question of whether that's going to be a bounce uh, in the bonds. That's been the one that I just don't understand why it's not bouncing. But sometimes these markets don't listen to me. They listen to their own tune. So, but uh, the utility index is still holding that 61% uh, retracement. Uh, I know we're going to have the Fed next week, and they're almost 100% is what the bookmakers are giving it to a, a rate increase. It will probably be uh, only a quarter percent because I don't think they want to rock anybody's boat if there's such a thing as looking at it, but it's just amazing. Now, if we take a look here at the, um, the XAU, which is the Gold Silver Index, this is the one that, that we were involved in, and we'll see here uh, what you're looking at is uh, the market bottomed on the 14th of uh, November. That was when we had the full moon. We've got another full moon coming in here next week on uh, Tuesday, I believe, on the 14th. And so we want to watch that in case this pulls back into that full moon and it's still at a higher level. This could be a chance for a, a pretty good move. But we didn't rally as much as we should have if this were a major bottom. You can see the bottom in October uh, came in and, and rallied a great deal, whereas this one took the same amount of time and could not rally as much. So that's telling you that you know, it's probably not, uh, well, not probably, it's certainly not as bullish uh, as, you would, uh, as you would like to see it if that's were the case of what we were watching. So keep that in mind because uh, I still think the silver and gold have a chance. Um, and one other thing that someone mentioned to us, we have some uh, friends from, uh, from Saudi Arabia and also from uh, uh, Dubai that have told us uh, yesterday that the um, Muslims are now allowed to own gold. And, of course, you know, they don't believe in interest, and so they won't, they won't, be, they won't be buying bonds, but they might start, you know, buying gold. So that would offset the fact that India has not allowed their uh, 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 people to buy gold, so maybe that will partially offset it. I mean, if they ever come and back and let the Indians, uh, you know, buy gold because they, they, they really have a gold market over there, and I'm sure there's a black market in gold because most of these people don't want to, uh, you know, get, get rid of gold because that's the, the real, real hard money that you know. I used to have a, a sign on my desk that says, he who owns the gold makes the rules. I don't know if that's still the case or not. I guess not because of the the politicians that are in there, but we'll, we'll see what's happening. But I believe everybody should hold some silver. I've said that since the day I started on this show way back in 2007, in 2007 to own some silver rounds or silver dollars. I like silver dollars because they're old and they're pretty. And Well, the silver rounds are pretty too, but the, the uh, old silver dollars have some numismatic value, and uh, they're not much more than the price of silver, so that's a really a good value. But, uh, you know, because we, when we get through with this quantitative easing, history is going to not be very, very kind to these people that uh, thought of this thing. Uh, this just does not make any sense at all. And, uh, I, you know, it's hard to uh, explain, you know, how they do it and everything. But, you know, as Sean uh, Smolian uh, told us, the wolftrader.net, this market is running on what the Fed does. And as they pump money into it, the market goes up. He showed the figures. He keeps them daily, and as long as they're pumping money into it, you know, that's it. And, you know, they've got a printing press, so all they have to do is, uh, you know, see, what, uh, see what's going to happen to it next. But markets are, uh, you know, still responding. We're, uh, you know, making new highs early this morning, much as they've done every morning uh, ever since that time. So we'll, we'll watch this as we go through. Now, keep an eye at the key to, this, to these markets today. From my perspective, from looking at the foreign exchange, which I, I like uh, very, very much uh, to trade, is the euro. If we go below that 105 
50 level, we're trading 105.70, and not very far away. Uh, that's going to tell us that we're going to be looking at some really serious uh, potential moves uh, to the downside. So watch this uh, very closely. And we're, we're trading at 115 in the yen. We need that to get above the 115.50 for it to start to accelerate uh, to the upside. It's not very far away uh, from doing that. And the other one that's very, very important, of course, is the uh, Canadian dollar at the 131.40 level. We're trading at 131.74 uh, right now. That will equate to uh, you know what's happening in the crude oil market too. So uh, those are interrelated very, very closely. So these are just numbers that we want to watch. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, a couple of people have asked me um, the, uh, about the foreign exchange, why I focus on that so much. Folks, that's where the real money is. I mean, this starts in London at around 8 o'clock London time. And this is real money. This is when anytime you buy something that's made anywhere other than the United States, it's being hedged off by uh, the foreign exchange market. So really, um, that's why I watch this. And they trade uh, 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week with pretty good volume in the middle of the night. Sometimes during Asia, there's not too much with the exception of the yen and the euro trades very liquid all night long. But that's real money. This is uh, these are how the countries, you know, settle their debts and everything. So this is real serious stuff. No one can control it for very, very they can control it for a short period of time, 
but not for a long period of time because there's too many people in there doing that. And as the Chinese renminbi, the yuan, becomes more and more popular, there are going to be more and more uh, people, you know, trading the uh, Chinese renminbi. So that'll be, yeah, you know, another factor we'll look at. That'll be another probably 8 to 12 months before, you know, it's already trading somewhat, but not nearly as much as, uh, you know, what's going to be looking at today. Now, I wanted to uh, focus here on just a quick uh, thing here on the, uh-oh, we have a question here possibly. Let's just see what's it. One minute left, and I want to bring up the chart if I can find it. I think I have it. No, I don't have it. Just a minute. Oh, came close, didn't I? All righty. Well, I was going to show the chart of Deutsche Bank because, uh, it's, uh, it's gapped down today with almost an island reversal, so keep an eye on that. We were watching that uh, yesterday, as you can see here, up in this level. Uh, we went a tiny bit higher than the 78% retracement. Uh, we got up to uh, 119.10, I believe, or 119, <laughs> 19.10, and now we're trading at 18.20, which is a 8% drop in just a matter of uh, a few hours. So whether that means much or not, I'm not sure. This weekend, we need to look at all of the foreign markets because the only one that has made higher highs this week has been the Nikkei by just a marginal amount. All the others are still in downtrends big time. So we're the only market that's going nuts and will probably continue to go nuts. So it doesn't do it anymore. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.